Well, second time around and it might have worked. Wow, this is turning out to be an interesting day. So, I love it when plans come together. Not. Oh man, I know I, I had another stream I started, but I was in a bunker. And evidently, yeah, concrete parking structures and live streams do not work. Yeah. So, had this uh, awesome plan today. And once again, it's a Sunday and it's raining. And my plans are getting washed out. So, I'm on the road. Well, uh, you know, I don't know. I think the green would not work in the bunker. So I'm on my way to Cation with, but hey, this is wet. And I don't need wet. Hey, what's up, Ren? Yeah, what's live stream to? Um, yeah. Concrete too thick. You're absolutely right. It was a bunker. It was a bunker. Uh, this is the second Sunday in a row that I had things planned to do with uh, photography. Rainy. Yesterday was beautiful. I, but I was hunting yesterday. And now it's raining. And I might have to go back to the bunker and just do a video there instead of doing a live stream. But I wanted to, you know, chat with everybody this morning on this nasty, wet morning. <laughs> and the bad thing about it is it's not raining hard. It's raining just enough, just enough to wet everything and make it annoying. I'd, I'd, I'd just be assumed that it'd just come a gully washer right now. I'd be perfectly happy with that. But no, it's got a drizzle. No, no bueno, freezing rain. No, no, nay, nay. No, it's not good. You got freezing rain up, up in the Knoxville area? What? That's too close, Ren. That's too close. Keep it, but be safe. Be safe. <sighs> I mean, it's like, there's just, ugh. I bought some props. I brought a prop yesterday. I got this thing in my head I want to do. <sighs> it's part of it, right? It's part of it. It happens, but we'll we'll survive. We'll survive. We will. Nice green, yes. Nice Harold. What's good in the? Oh, <laughs> uh, I saw that Ren. I saw that. I went to Walmart this morning looking for Kent pull some uh, red hoods, red skulls. Um, uh, and no bueno. I think we. I think I'm gonna. I'm, I'm halfway tempted to do a special uh, video just for uh, my buddy can't pull live and challenge every, every Walmart's and find him a five dollar Red Skull and send it to him. I've got one. I'm gonna send it to him. Uh, send it to him, but. 
that might be the uh, that might be the next video. You know, let's help Kent Army build the skulls. Kent is he loves Army building. He is good at it. hurts me when he can't find the things because I understand when you get something in your head that you want to try and you want to do it becomes an essay. Um and I, I feel for him because I know, I know that feeling it's, just like, I, it's like right now there's this photography thing I want to do I could probably still do it really like the idea of it being wet. I didn't like that. So what do you do when it's uh, uh, raining and your primary location is not doable? You go to McDonald's and get a sweet tea. That's what you do. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to McDonald's. I'm going to get a sweet tea because I need to drown my sorrows. Uh, so frustrating. Nice, nice. You know, um, the what I want to do, I could do it indoors. I just don't want to do it indoors. I'll show you the plan. I'll, I will promise you that we. I might not be able to actually photograph today, but at least I can show you the plan for this project after I get my sweet tea. After. Look, this big old truck beside me. Okay, if you're going to lift a truck that high, why do you have street tires on it? Hmm. Just say it. Yeah, why? I mean, look, street tires, street tires. Why? Why? Man, if I'm going to put a truck up in the air, buddy, it's going to have some mudders on it. I'm going to be slinging some dirt. Ain't going to have no street tires on it. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's cray cray. Overcompensating. I wasn't going to say it, but hey. But, but that's what I'm saying. If you're going to do it, you know, go big. All right, here we go. We're at Mickey D's. We're at Mickey D's. Drive through. Y'all be quiet. Hi, thank you for the call. What can I get you? I need to get a large sweet tea, please. That'll be it. Would you like to donate a dollar to the Ronald McDonald's on Sure. Thank you, sir. It's going to be two times the first one now. Thank you so much. Ooh, that mocha coffee looked good too. But hey, sweet tea. This is the wicked curb right here. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. What? You're driving a convertible in the rain? Oh my god. Oh, caramel iced coffee. Yes. Yeah. Okay, if you go ahead and fill out this, you'll get your tea free next time. Okay, thank you so Have much. You too. Ooh, survey. Free tea next time. How many of us actually do the surveys? Hmm. I must admit, I don't a lot of times. A large sweet oh. tea, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very well. Sorry. <laughs> I almost handed him. I almost handed my card again. I've already paid for it. I'm a goober head this morning. So I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram yet or not, but I've already been cooking this morning. I made a big old batch of sausage balls this morning. The bad boys was good. Uh, what are what are we waiting on? Car? 
Oh, now it's starting to rain a little harder. This is destiny. Maybe I should just go see a movie today. How cool would it be to live stream during a movie? <laughs> I mean, not show the movie, but just like live stream. I mean, that would be, so to me, that would be the ultimate two hour reaction video. Just like put the phone like right there and just be watching the movie and just be like, I mean, through the whole movie. Heck with these little 30 second reaction movies. Let's do a two hour reaction video. Two hour reaction live stream. Wally, good deal. Um, yeah, and you can be really creative with uh, the wire. Uh, I mean, you got alligator clips. Um, you can use magnets. Uh, which is another alternative. You can actually go and buy some of the smaller uh, magnets and you can uh, use those, especially for figures that, and, and it won't hurt them, just take some um, little bit of uh, silicone and you can uh, put it on the magnet and attach it. it. Won't hurt the figure. Yeah, it's raining now and it's raining. I'm sad. I'm sad right now. You know what? It's going to be pretty tomorrow. Go back to work. It's going to be pretty. Sun's going to be shining. Probably going to be 80 degrees. Like I said, I to the bunker, which um, has to be the rain. This is crazy city. Wow. I'm blaming all of this on the weather. I'm blaming all the buffering. I'm blaming all the reconnecting. I'm blaming everything on the amount of water. And everything. I'm just saying. That's what I'm doing. I'm blaming it on everything. All right, so we're here at my patient where I was going to shoot and I'm not going to be able to just suck it up and realize that it ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen. All right. So let me, uh, <laughs> my my granddaughter just commented on my sausage ball. She goes, I'll take a dozen. <laughs> hey, you know what? I actually thought about going live while I was cooking this morning. Let's see if I can flip this. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can flip it. Boom. Whoops. All right. Pardon the uh, windshield wipers. But see, here in, my, here in Cleveland, we've got a skate park. And... Um, yeah, this is where I was going to shoot today. This is where I was going to shoot. And it's wet. And it's raining. And it's nasty. Um, so, the premise behind today's shoot. So, I picked up, if you watch my, uh, no, you didn't see it. So, so yesterday, after I left Tallman, I went over to the mall in Knoxville, went to FYE, went to GameStop, Pop Cult, um, Hot Topic, Box Lunch. And I picked up a Tony Hawk uh, pop. Hadn't seen it before, and I've been wanting it. So I picked it up. And my prop from a Tony Hawk pop, wait one and I'll Hey, wait one, I'll get you. I'll be right back. Ha, I'm back here now. <laughs> Let me get Tony. Let me get the prop. Uh, 
Oh yeah. All right, so I got Tony. Oh. And I went to Walmart and picked up a skateboard. What? That's right. Photo prop. Theoretical piles once up. And now it's raining and I can't do it. But there were other things. It's not just a skate park. I want to do some shots with some graffiti and some other stuff. So it's not a not a total loss. Um, I used to, I, you know, here's the thing. I used to ride skateboards. I used to. And that was a long time ago. But what I was going to do is like, I mean, like this is a good prop. It's a very good prop. So, and like I said, I can, I can do it inside, but no. Um, yeah, I, I did, in, Ren, I did enjoy the mile. I was disappointed with FYE. Um, I was disappointed. The FYE that I went to in Atlanta, Alpharetta area, it was huge. It had a ton of pops. It probably had... 20 foot section of just pops, then a bunch of cooler scale, DC, Marvel, Black Series. The one in Knoxville actually was pretty light. I was, they didn't have hardly any FYE exclusive pops. They had Groot, Prince. They had the, 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 the two packs, had some vinyls, but nothing. So I was like, wow. You ever been to New York? No, I've not been to New York. I have not. So, but that was my plan for Tony. I can at least take him out of the box. So yeah, I was um, I was really hoping to uh, pick up the ACDC uh, Fye pop uh, exclusive. Then supposedly there's a Captain Marvel FYE exclusive that I was asked to pick up, but look at Tony. Ooh, see there, look. Let me give y'all a preview. Look, bam, right there, back, back, background, right there. Tony in a skateboard, lots of color. Get him on the skateboard, boom. I even got my GoPro. Um, that I'm, I was gonna put on the skateboard and sort of like have a shot that way. But the rain is setting in. But I still might go over to the bunker and do some shots there, I don't know. But I have my heart set on the, the skate park, so I'll probably be keeping Tony and the skateboard in the car for uh, a few days. Two sheets of poster board. Oh yeah. I was at um, um, Hobby Lobby yesterday and I always go there just, I went there and I went to a um, an antique store. I was looking for, I was looking for several things um, that I could possibly make some backdrops and stuff like that in. And then that's when I got the the idea. I thought, wait a minute, I got a skate park. I got a Tony Hawk pop. Let's go buy a skateboard. And I was actually surprised that I actually found a skateboard in Walmart. I was really surprised. So, got a built-in prop. And the beauty of a skateboard and a Tony Hawk pop, Tony Hawk pop is you can skateboard anywhere. So the this one might stay in a car with me for, it might stay in a car with me. You might be seeing a lot of Tony Hawk pictures over the next couple of weeks. This is gonna be a, it's not gonna be a one, one stop project. Project. 
So, I know this is not entertaining at all. I know you guys would have really loved me to be out shooting. And if the flocking bunker would have let me. <laughs> Ooh, Clinton. Are you trying to get me to come to Clinton? I'm okay with that. I'll come to Clinton. Actually, so here's your... <laughs> You're right, Jeanette, it is. You know, like I said, I, this, is where, this is where my obsessive personality comes into play. Is when I lock on to something, yeah, I get... I get to where I need to do it. I need to do it. I'm telling you, so if you haven't if you haven't watched my video from Tall Man Toys and Comics, wow. Um that store <laughs> was insane. I literally could have been bankrupt in there yesterday. I had to walk away from so much. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I was the restraint. And here's the thing in that store, they got like 2,000 pops like on display. All together in that store, there's about 6,000 Funko Pops. Wow. It's crazy. I mean, Literally boxes, boxes, and boxes in the back room. It was, it was insane. And so many pops. And again, I'm new. I'm, I'm still new to the pop game. I mean, I've not been doing this for years. I'm, this is like my second, going on my second year. I've seen so many pops that everybody else knew about probably but I didn't because I'm relatively new. So I saw a ton of pops I've never seen before. Um, I know someone had commented why I didn't pick up the uh, the OG line from Lion King. And it was funny too, because I don't, I don't buy pops for value. And I know this sounds crazy. This, I didn't buy this Tony Hawk pop thinking, hey, a couple of months from now, this will be worth double. I don't buy pops that way. I don't fault anybody for buying pops that way. I personally don't because I buy pops to photograph. Hey, you guys want some entertainment? Check this out. Let me see if I can flip it again. Where's the flipper? Where's the flipper? I know it's here. Oh man, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It was hid. The windshield wiper going. We got a uh, we got a mountain biker. He's out here in the rain. I was gonna see. He actually rode over the uh, tabletop right there. I'm gonna see if he can do anything anything fun um come on dude comic exchange Ooh, i have to check that one out all right you're boring me you're boring me dude you're just standing in the rain if you're gonna stand in the rain you need to do something right people look at him he just stand he just sitting there getting wet <laughs> now I'm sorry. If I'm on a bike and I'm in the middle of a skate park, and if I'm gonna get wet, um, I'm gonna be doing some tricks. I'm just not gonna sit there. I mean, he's got his knee pads on. He's got his elbow pads on. He's got his ankle. He's got his ankle taped up on his pants. He's ready to go. But what's he doing? Standing in the rain. It almost, it almost looks like he's peeing. Is he peeing? 
<laughs> what is this dude doing? He just like he's like he's not moving. Jeanette, that's possible. I mean, I don't know. He's just like. <laughs> Mentally going over the course. Ooh. See, see, look at him. He looks down every once in a while, and he looks up, trying to be nonchalant. Looks back. See, there he's looking back at me. Ooh. Heck, yeah, this is crazy. We're staring at this guy because it's like, <laughs> All right, yeah, popcorn. Join, the, join life the little moments. Yeah, I agree with you. It's just funny. Oh, what are we doing? Okay, we're looking down. There's no one else in the area. No one. It's literally me and him. If he's on the phone, um, it's got to be in his helmet because it's just weird. Of course, he might be warming his hands up. His hands might be cold. Let's see here. Let's see if I can connect. Come on. Re oh, are we reconnecting? Oh, here we go. Uh, he's, he's thinking now. All right. Oh, here we go. Hey, we got some entertainment, guys. We got some entertainment. Is he going to do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Bet y'all didn't expect this kind of live stream this morning. Oh, that was an attempted wheelie. It was an attempted wheelie. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying. I don't know what that was, but he's trying. E for effort. E for effort. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. You can do it, man. Do a tail whip. Come on. Bunny hop it. Do an endo. Bar spins. Something. Give us something. <laughs> do a Superman. Come on. Right there. Super oh, 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 not enough momentum. Not enough momentum. And now he's like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I think he's, I think honestly, um, oh, be careful, dude. Be careful. A slick. Be careful. He's, he's, he's relatively new to this. I can tell you that much. Oh, oh, is he going to go down? Oh, is he going to go down? Oh, no. No, oh. Gotta do, a, gotta do a seat adjustment. Okay, okay. Are you not entertained? <laughs> oh, taking the seat. Ooh, we're taking that seat up high. What are we doing? What are we doing? This is awesome. Yeah, I mean, for, I mean, you could have some fun with a mountain bike, um, but yeah, it's definitely not the uh, first choice for a skate park. And raising the seat up that high is definitely not a good choice for a skate park. I'm just telling you. Um, yeah, definitely getting going to get butt checked. I mean, he's dedicated. He's, this is hardcore. He's double checking that seat, checking it twice. Ren, I did not expect this this morning either. Look, look, look at this. He's like lightly tapping it. Wow. Let me see if I can zoom in some more on this. Cause this is like, he is really obsessed with that seat alignment. He is obsessed with it. 
checking the alignment with the tire. I got to give him props. Oh, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, are we there? Oh, we're there. Got to zoom back out. We're going to get some tricks now. I swear, I hope he does not go over any of these ramps with that seat that high. It is not going to end well. It is not going to end well. Just saying. Oh, I think he's giving it up. Oh, yep, he's in, he's in cruising mode now. <laughs> So the area I'm at, there's there's some trails back here. So, uh, you know, hey, he's in yep, cruising mode right now. Cruising mode. Hey, I might not be able to give you some pop photography this morning, but I can give you some bicycle action. Just saying, I will find something to entertain you, every one of y'all, somehow, some way. Just saying. <laughs> All right, so Ray, so I picked up Tony Hawk yesterday. I went and bought a skateboard, brand new skateboard for a prop and a backdrop. And I was going to be photographing it here at the skate park. Um, I still might go back over. I was at a bunker parking garage, but I couldn't get a live stream going there because it's like 80 inches thick, full of steel and concrete. So I'll probably wind up going back over there and um, I might do just a, a shoot video. Ren, uh, you just want to see Greg go to the hospital. That's what you want to see. Just be honest, Ren. I know what you're doing. All right, theoretical. We'll go check out Homes, Homespun Geek. We'll check him out. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all you're wanting to see. You're wanting to see the red lights, the gurney, the IVs, the neck traction. I know, I know, Ren, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to put peer pressure on me. I know what you're doing. <laughs> but I will tell you this. If I ever get on that, it'll be in a video. Air ambulance. <laughs> uh, no, not in my area, Jeanette. No. All the skate, I got two skate parks, uh, one here in Cleveland and one in Chattanooga, and they're both outside. Honest with you, if I was going to be out here skating, I, I would want to be outside, but on a day like today, it'd be nice to have one inside. But there's other things I was wanting to do this as well. I want to do some shots with some graffiti in the background and the bunker area garage. There's a little bit of graffiti on the wall, so that'll work. Um, I want to take Tony around and just photograph him everywhere. <laughs> Tony, like I know him. Hey, Tony, what's up? <laughs> oh my Lord. It's crazy. So I guess, um, yeah. And like I said, I could do this at the house, but I don't want to. I like getting outside. I like enjoying it. Enjoying the day. All right, let me put my my safety device back on because we're going to hit the road. I'm going to drive back over towards the bunker. That's what I'm going to do. What kind of beard? Oh, so everything I use from my beard is...
great a uh, couple of brothers it's uh it's it's good products i might i might have to come up there friend the um I'm, I'm almost, I, I literally, I'm trying to decide how long I'm going to keep this beard. And what is what called? The oil? It's the Legends uh, brand. They use the and Legends Beard Wash. Uh, tree. Um... I have a lot of people tell me that they love the beard, not just not YouTube, but people that actually I work with. Parts of me wants to just actually see how long I can get it, you know, and keep it looking good. And more than likely, if I ever do cut it off, I've already decided that that will be a live stream. I've already decided when the beard goes, it will be streamed live. It will be. Now, I've always had this. Like, I've always had this part. Oh, laptop. I tell you, you know, here's the thing with, with when it comes to photo editing, video editing, music editing, anything, anything along that lines, you cannot beat a Mac or an Apple product. You cannot beat it. Hands down, best in the market. They are stupidly expensive, but they will last you forever. So, if you can swing it, get a MacBook. Get a MacBook Pro for lap, laptop. Um, I've been wanting to get a uh, an iMac 27 for my uh, home use. But uh, everything I do is on my MacBook. It processes things quicker, it renders it better, it just it just works. So if you can afford it, boom. DK, yeah, a lot of people. Um Ken Pool, all of his videos and stuff he does on his phone. So yeah. Nothing wrong with that. But as a photographer, I have to look at it from uh best bang to the buck. And I've always had a Mac. I always use a Mac. And I do have a PC laptop, a Windows laptop. So I carry two laptops with me. I got my PC laptop. I got my Mac. Oh, cool. Tell her to hit me up on Instagram. I, I, love, I love seeing other people's work. Photography is not a business to get into if you want a lot of money. It is not. And I say this with peace and love, but everybody thinks they're a photographer. Everybody. And again, it's um, it's just this day and age. Um, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, you could make a really good living as a photographer. But nowadays, everybody, the, the cameras are so much better. Um, the thing to remember is when you hire a photographer, you're not hiring, you're not hiring someone to take pictures, okay? And there's a difference here. You're hiring someone to take photographs. There's a difference between a picture in a photograph and what I mean by that is click that's a picture right a photographer you're hiring someone that knows composition that knows 
lighting that, that is not someone that's shooting on auto and they understand how to compose a person in a group for family photos or engagement photos or wedding photos, senior portraits, sports. You're hiring someone that has invested in time, energy, gear um, to give you the absolutely best product you can have. And the way I approach it is everything, it's just like if you go to my website and you see the prints that I have of pops and stuff that I've took, I put as much time and effort into taking that photo of a pop as I do a person. There's no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. And it's a pop. Or it's a Marvel Legends. Or it's a Black Series. It's a hot toy. I don't care. It's literally every single thing that I do for a person, I do for that toy. Um, there are some amazing, uh, I'll use Harold, Harold as an example. He's been throwing up some amazing photos of some Star Wars stuff. Looks great. It's awesome. I love it. You know? But, you know, Harold doesn't go around. You know, he, he is an that's attending your wedding has their iPhone out taking photos Instagram before you even see anything. A wedding, you should be there for the people getting married, not to take them. That's what you're so that's one of the things I always suggest to brides and grooms is do it tech free. Now, one of the things that I do uh, when I do portraits and things like that is I talk to the bride, I talk to the groom, and if they want it, I say, okay, once I get your photographs taken, I'll step aside that anybody else can come up and they can take pictures. So. You see where I'm going, you see, you see the photographs, pictures, two different things. Um, and I've seen a lot of brides, they've started doing it. They've started going more tech free. It's like I said, you need to be there for the wedding. You need to be there for the moment, to cherish the moment that they invited you to go to. All right, that's enough of that rant. Like I said, I'm passionate, I'm passionate about my, my photography. I'm very passionate. All right, so let me show you the bunker because if I pull in here, the stream will end. I know it will. All right, here's the bunker. Boom. Right there. There's the bunker. There's the bunker. Right there. See, look, and it's reconnecting. Look, I'm sorry. You know what? I think right here. Power lines. I think it's the power line. I just now noticed that I've got like 12 transformers right here. They're everywhere. Yeah, it's bad over here. I'm on the move again. I'm on the move because it's reconnecting. I'm going to try to get a better signal before I end it. That way I can end it in the right way. Oh, come on. Reconnect. Reconnect. Reconnect so I can say bye. Reconnect. 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 Wow. This is like terrible. This is so bad right now. Reconnect. Reconnect. Is it connected? It says it's reconnecting on my screen. Stop. 
I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. Spinny wheel. Right oh my! The beef live streams. The beauty. The beauty. I'm gonna do this like storm chasers do. I'm just going to get a satellite mounted on the roof of the car. Go straight to the space. Join the space force. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm not seeing anything in the chat. So I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. If you can hear me, let me know. Because I ain't seeing nothing but a spinny wheel. I don't even think I'm live anymore. Oh, you can hear me. Sweet. You just can't see me. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's raining. I can't do what I want. I can't get my pictures like I want on my live stream. Oh, you can hear and see me? Oh, okay. Well, I tell you what, since you guys can hear me, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. I'm gonna cut this stream off because I don't want it to end without me saying how much I appreciate everybody. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna set up and do a video. And um, we'll go from there. So, guys, hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for joining in the stream. And as always, uh, thank you for supporting my channel. I love y'all, and I hope you have a great day.